After watching The Force Awakens for roughly the 10 millionth time, there was one conclusion I simply couldn't escape. Rey is Nausicaa from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. It's not just the fact that they're both tough young women who grew up and explore barren worlds strewn with the lifeless hulks of a past war, encounter cute orange sidekicks, and team up with scrappy turncoats with hearts of gold. It's not even the fact that they both happen to be competent martial artists and skilled pilots, or the fact that they both have mysterious visions or that their childhoods both include some form of traumatic separation that informs their adult opinions. Actually, no, it is all those things. They're essentially the same character. And I know, you might be saying, this is all a coincidence. But the coincidence argument is a lot harder to hold up once you realize that it's not just a bunch of similarities in character and circumstance and theme, but The Force Awakens literally borrows some elements shot for shot, particularly in the first act of the film when we're first introduced to Rey. We're introduced to both characters hunting for valuable materials in forgotten cave-like locations. Not only that, but both Rey and Nausicaa obscure their faces and wear a similar style of uniquely unfashionable goggles with small tinted lenses. As you see, labeling these things as coincidences is becoming increasingly more unlikely. The borrowed action continues as we see both Rey and Nausicaa sliding down steep slopes to get to their respective vehicles and fly off toward the horizon in shots that are almost perfect mirrors of one another. And there are a number of other shots that are quick, but definitely there. I'd personally say that the conclusion is obvious. The Force Awakens was at least partially inspired by Nausicaa. The similarities speak for themselves, and that's alright. After all, it's well understood and admitted by George Lucas himself that the original Star Wars in 1977 was inspired by The Hidden Fortress, a classic Japanese film by Akira Kurosawa. The one thing that really struck me about Hidden Fortress was the fact that the story was told from the two lowest characters, which in the Star Wars case is the two droids. And Dave Filoni has referenced Princess Mononoke's son as an inspiration for the character Ahsoka in the Clone Wars TV show. So Star Wars has already been borrowing pretty heavily from Japanese cinema, and when writing a compelling female lead, who better to turn to than Hayao Miyazaki, whose heroines are basically legendary? So Rey is Nausicaa, and I love both characters, and I love both movies, so I'm not upset one bit, 